year's biggest climate change conference, COP28, has entered into its second week of negotiations here in Dubai. Over the next one week, the countries are going to get together and finalize and conclude the first ever global stock take. This is an overall assessment of climate action and progress made by all the countries since they signed the Paris Agreement in 2015. The goal of that agreement was to limit the rise in global temperatures to below 1.5 degrees Celsius. However, we have seen that the world has already warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius and we are dangerously close to an overshoot, which would lead to intensification of climate disasters across the world. Now, this two-week conference comes at a very crucial time. So, if you remember, this uh, conference began with a landmark agreement on the loss and damage fund. Now, this was announced last year during COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh. Uh, the fund has been set up to financially compensate the uh, vulnerable countries which are most impacted by climate change. Uh, this fund has uh, the World Bank as its interim host for the next four years and uh, will uh, fi uh, financially support the vulnerable countries. India too has welcomed this uh, agreement considering it is one of those countries which is also impacted by climate change. We also saw a global agreement on the tripling of renewable energy capacity by 2030. Uh, over 123 countries have already uh, signed the agreement. It also includes doubling the rate of energy efficiency by the end of this decade. Now, if you remember, this was one of the, also the one of the uh, texts which was included in the G20 declaration where all the uh, 20 big economies of the world, the US, the UK and China agreed to make efforts towards tripling the renewable energy capacity by 2030. Now, clean energy push is a very important component of climate action. This COP was also important considering it was also the first time there was a declaration on climate and health. It is probably the closest that health professionals across the world have come to calling it a health COP where uh, the world leaders agreed that climate change is also a health crisis. So several important announcements have been made. Uh, made. Even the loss and damage fund has uh, got about uh, a pledges worth rupees 700 million dollars from different countries. It's important to know that these are just pledges and funds are yet to come through. So we'll bring you all the updates from this two-week conference uh, over the last over the next uh, seven days. And uh, stay tuned to CNN News 18 uh, as we bring to you all the updates from here.